taking body cameras to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. That's a done deal. But how police will use those cameras is still up for debate. That's why Sheriff Mike Williams wants to hear from the community about the new program before it launches in the next few months. Channel 4's Ashley Harding is joining us now live. And Ashley, people are invited and, and encouraged to speak with JSO tonight. Jen and Bruce, yes, they are. Tonight is the first of six town hall meetings that JSO is holding in the coming weeks in different parts of the city. So the question is, what are your concerns about body cameras with JSO? After lots of discussion over the last couple of years and a green light from the city council to get better equipment, JSO is now one step closer to adding body cameras. And they've been working on this for over a year, developing policy and, and trying to figure out which the best body cams that they can get for the money. The best possible camera and the right blueprint on how and when to use them in the city. That's why JSO wants to hear from you. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith was a Jacksonville Sheriff's officer for more than two decades. He says hearing concerns from people in the community will help police narrow down a policy. If there's some things that could be added to the policy than it can be. The policy can always be changed. It is not the official policy right now. In the past, JSO faced criticism, especially with the use of deadly force. Most notably, last year's shooting of Vernell Bing Jr. Police said he was killed after crashing a stolen car into a JSO cruiser. They also said Bing wasn't armed. Smith tells me his view of body cameras has come full circle. He says he can see why they build trust with the community, but also benefit law enforcement. You have a lot of bogus complaints that people filed against police officers saying they did things that, did, that they did not actually do. So that would keep those complaints down. Smith says there's a lot of other things to consider, like privacy for the officers. Topics sure to be discussed tonight. And tonight's town hall meeting is scheduled for 630. That's in the Milne Auditorium on the campus of Edward Waters College. Now next week's town hall will happen at FSCJ North Campus. The remaining four town halls have not yet been scheduled, narrowed down as to where they will be. Of course, we'll keep you updated on when they are scheduled. You can also find that information on our web story at newsforjacks.com. We are live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, I understand that there's one group that plans to be present at these town halls. They've got concerns about the use of these body cameras. What is it they're worried about? You know, Bruce, that's actually coming at, at an interesting time. Right now, there is a bill moving through the Florida legislature, which would allow officers to look at their footage before writing out an official report. Now, three historic civil rights organizations have said that that should not happen. We expect that topic to come up today, plus many more. Bruce, back to you.